Hi guys, it's Jermaine Math Person. Today I'll be going over question 216 on SOA exam P. So pause the video quick and try this problem yourself. Okay, that's me your attempt to let's just dive right in. So each year the number of warranty claims follows a Poisson distribution with the mean C. So that means it e to the lambda or lambda where lambda is C, e to the C, C to the X over X factorial is when probability of X is equal to some X. Um, the probability that no warranty claims are received in any given year is 0.6. So they're saying the probability that x is equal to 0 is equal to 0.6. So we can just plug in 0 for c, for 0, 0 for x, <laughs> so we get e to the c, c to the 0 over 0 factorial. So this is 1, this is 1, so you get 0.6 is equal to e to the c. So we can take the natural log on both sides. Natural log of 0.6 is equal to c. So that's what we get for C. Um, company XYZ purchased an insurance policy that would reduce its overall warranty claims payment cost. Um, the insurance pays nothing for the first warranty claim. So zero, obviously at zero, it's zero. At one, the payout is zero. At two, and on, they will pay 5,000. If it's three, for example, then that's basically two of these, right? So that'll be 5,000 times two, and then four, it's gonna be three of these, $5,000. Because after the fourth warranty claim, you're not just paying for the fourth one, which is just 5,000, you're paying for two, three, and four. So the expected amount would be equal to 5,000 times the probability of two, plus um, 5,000 times two, times the probability of 3 plus 5,000 times 3 times the probability of 4 and so on and so on. So basically this could be summed up if we factor out the 5,000. This is equal to 5,000 probability of 2 plus 2 times the probability of 3 plus and this is basically the same thing as saying like let's say like 2 minus 1 probability of 2 and 3 minus one probability two three and that's because I just wanted to get these two numbers the same because that that way that would be exactly the expectation of n right expectation of n is just two times probability two plus three times probability three so on so on so this is exact that's why I just wanted to get this first number to be the same so this is four minus one probability of four and so on so on so on and I'm gonna play a little sneaky trick right here I'm actually going to add 1 minus 1 in there in the probability of 1 because that way it fits the definition of our expectation a little bit better. You'll see what we're talking about because this is technically just 0 so when you multiply 0 by anything it does still 0. <laughs> so it really doesn't change the value or change the problem at all. Just manipulating the problem to solve it easier. So we can split this up into 1 times probability of 1 minus probability of 1 plus 2 times probability of 2 minus probability of 2 plus 3 times probability of 3 minus probability of 3 and so on and so on and so on. So that you can kind of see if we put the probability of 1 together times probability of 2 times probability of 3. That's exact. This part right here is exactly our expectation because our expectation is just x times probability of x summing up from i equals 1 to infinity. Because then you can see, like, if we use this formula, you're going to get 1 times probability 1 plus 2 times probability 2 and so on and so on. So this, this is exactly our expectation of x. However, this side right here, if we factor out the negative, you're going to get probability of 1 plus probability of 2 plus probability of 3 and so on and so on and so on. Or you can think of this as everything, right? Everything we know all probably has to add up to 1 minus probability of 0. So we're just taking a complement. So the expectation for x for exponential distribution is just lambda, which we know is to be natural log of 0.6. So I, I can't forget the 5,000 on the outside. Minus 1 minus the probability of 0. Hey, the probability of 0 we know is right here is equal to 0 0.6. 0 0.6. Oh, wait, I forgot a little negative sign here. Hi guys, what am I going to do? <laughs> Get na negative sign there. So this is going to be negative natural log of 0 0.6. 
So this is equal to 554.128, which is your answer A. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Otherwise, as always, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Bye!